Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a box that goes around our assembly so that we can make our injection mold box of our 3D printed letters. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find my assembly of my letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my assembly. Here's my letters all put together. Notice that none of them move, so my assembly is complete. I'm then going to kind of rotate around so you can see everything. Now the process that we do is gonna be a little bit tricky, so you need to make sure you follow the directions, um, but it's a fairly easy one as long as you uh, follow directions well. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit create. So I'm gonna create a new part that's called top of mold. And I'm gonna save it in my introduction to manufacturing folder. And I'm going to hit okay. Once I got the name typed in there, then it's gonna ask me where do I want to create this. We're gonna flip our assembly over where we click on the bottom surface of that. Now it kind of goes a little bit gray, which is a little bit confusing, but now we're gonna go ahead and hit start a sketch. And again, I wanna click that on the bottom box. Don't click on the plane, but click on the bottom box. Now it rotated it weird for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it around so I can see things. We're going to project our geometry. So over here, there's a project geometry button and we're going to just highlight all the edges around our letters. And you can do it by either clicking on the edges or you can simply click on each rectangle. Notice here I clicked on something I wasn't supposed to, but that's okay. Now I'm going to make a rectangle around all those letters. We are in inches, so we wanna make sure that we do dimension everything in millimeters. So when we 3D print it, everything turns out okay. So when I hit dimension, I'm gonna click on the top of the, the box or the top of my letters to the edge of the box. And I'm gonna type in five mm for millimeters and you are going to have to put that letter in there for millimeters the mm then i'm going to click on the two edges and instead of typing in again i'm just going ahead and go ahead and click on this other dimension so what that did is that made these two dimensions exactly the same and they will always be exactly the same i'm going to go ahead and do that around the uh, left edge click on that top letter top dimension again and also on the bottom so what i'm doing is i'm making a five millimeter border all the way around my letters I'm going to finish my sketch and then I'm going to extrude this box, just the box itself. And I want to make sure I get all those letters. So you have to, might, might have to click it. So I have an entire box. I want it to go the other direction so that it covers my letters. And we're going to go ahead and make it 10 millimeters in size so that it covers everything. So when I hit OK, all you're going to see is my box. I don't see my letters at all anymore because that box is not covering them. Now, right click, finish edit. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And it's going to ask you, you want to save it? So click yes to all and hit okay. Now I have made this box that goes around all my letters. And what I've done is I've made a part now called top mold that will show what we're going to do with in the next video.